We are recording. Fantastic. Last week we talked about the possibility of some of this looking a little bit Turner-esque and um, I was thinking that would be a lot of fun to paint in the manner of Turner. Um, I won't do it with this because the paint dries solid and I will try it with um, golden open which I can paint and then move the paint around for an hour or so after I paint it all. Half an hour anyway. Whereas once this is dry it's it's solid. So I'm gonna take some of that paint off because although I quite like the feel of it, I'm gonna look and see what it looks like. Mm. No. Too light. I'm going to have to put that all back. Maybe. Maybe. There's a bunch of things I've got to talk about today over and above this painting but I'm gonna start a new painting same subject from a different view and I will do that with the more slippery paints and I will look to do it in a way that um, lets me play with it in that Turner-esque way. Everybody's saying hello splodgers and I don't know if that's what what your fan base is known as Rogers splodgers or is that an affectionate nickname for you I have no idea or us please enlighten that. everyone it's a bit scary that I have no idea <laughs> I like it whatever it is you do I like keeping a degree of vagueness for as long as possible um, because it hints at a lot more possibilities than sort of fixing something in three dimensions. Okay. That was that's a reference to your lovely students. So your I students see. are Rogers Splodgers. I see. Is what I think is happening, which is really lovely. They were amazing. They are amazing. Um, just for the record, an embarrassingly late, after many many changes, corrections, and quite a few reprints, the certificates went out today having said that actually because the post office closed at midday they actually go out tomorrow so but they're done and got them addressed and stamped and all that kind of stuff so keep an eye on your letterbox 
<laughs> okay. So eventually this will be more locked in. Uh, as I said, I want to keep it vague for as long as I can. But um, it's not planned to, to stay that way forever. Can I just set this, the microphone? Okay, I guess I'm going to interrupt this and talk a little bit. Um, Frere has kind of twisted my arm to do a number of things. And one of them was, we, we often talked about the nature of creativity and where ideas come from and how different people have different ways of capturing those ideas that sometimes are very fugitive, sometimes are really vivid, and how to bring them into the world. And she suggested we do a series of talks with different artists, writers, musicians, even some scientists, scientists and engineers. So we're going to talk to a lot of people about the process. On Tuesday of this week, we did an hour long chat, was it an hour long or 45 minutes chat with um, Steve Hackett, which was brilliant, um, talking a lot about Japan and the Far East and the influences from there. And on this coming Friday, I'm talking to Dave McKean, an incredibly brilliant artist who's done album covers and comics and all kinds of other stuff. He's a writer, made films, very clever guy. So we're going to have a talk. I don't know what day Freire is going to post them, but they will be um, in two forms, I think. We're recording them on Zoom, but they will be as audio on a blog, which I think we're going to be calling the blog The Secret Path. Um, that was just us being lazy because that was the title for my new book which should be at some point soon fingers crossed finished um, so that looks incredibly exciting Freya has kind of dropped me in the deep end because she reached out to a whole bunch of people and asked them and got some very kind positive responses so <laughs> yes I'm, I'm thrilled with it, but um, yeah, I'd, it's sort of caught me by surprise. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the other thing is, um, from the 28th onwards, the new autumn classes will start, and there'll be Wednesdays. So um, Christabel will be helping me with that. I will. And hopefully she'll be helping me do the live sessions on the Thursday. Yes. So that seems like Freya has got my week pretty much chocker. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to keep you out of trouble. All yeah. that mischief you get into. Yes, maybe. Well, yes. Anyway, it looks like it's going to be fun. So for those of you who are interested in the course, you can see that on the website. It's open now. And as I say, we start on the 28th of October, which you need to be very careful of because it's seven o'clock on the 28th of October but I think that's the day before British summertime ends so we need to make sure everybody is aware that that's an imminent change and the clocks go back <laughs> so I always have to think about that do they go back do they go forward they go back the clocks in England go back. America sometimes is coincides, but not by any means always. So in England, the clocks go back the end of October and on Sunday. And we will be doing our first talk for the classes 
on the 28th. So do, if you're interested, look that up. Um, we finally, again, finally, um, I showed you a couple of weeks ago the proofs of the calendar, but they are now in the shop. And this is them. So this is what the calendar looks like. And it's going to be available on the website and available at, my, at Michael's Training Boundaries. And we managed to get not only a very good printer, and the, the quality of the printing is excellent, but he also gave us a very good price. So although we're only producing small numbers, we're managing to get the price to, I think it's 19.95, just under 20 pounds. So that's, that's, I'm very pleased about that. So we have this and we have the school coming up. We have the talks about creativity and we have the usual Q&A. So we are very busy. Um, no anyway. rest for Roger. No, it looks like it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun, actually. Um, I'm going to be finishing this painting, but wherever we are between now and next week, I'm going to start the other one and I'm going to look at that. I mean, uh, Turner famously used to look at other artists' fingernails. If they weren't dirty, he'd accuse them of not being serious artists. <laughs> so... <laughs> Does that mean I'm a serious artist? Yeah, I don't know. Let's have a They're look. filthy. Mm, yes. <laughs> so Christabel has just demonstrated how serious an artist she is. <laughs> I won't put them on camera. It would be <laughs> shocking. Well, are you that or you're a gardener, one or the other. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, and I think I mentioned it last time, but I'll mention it again. In the site where we were going to renovate the prototype house, we found a badger set, which is thrilling to me. It's, it's just brilliant. I've always loved the idea of having badgers around and lo and behold, but not, I haven't beheld yet. We have at least one, maybe a family actually in the garden. It's a little teeny corner of the garden that I've kept as a wild place. Some people think I've kept the whole garden as a wild place, but there is a corner that is a conscious wild place and uh, it's in there. And how and why amazes me, but it's there. So we've had to move plans for the prototype to a totally different place, which actually turns out that it might actually be better. It's already got a concrete platform, um, so it's going to be very easy to set it up. The badger knows best. The badger chose the place with hills and wild stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Um, for the moment, that's the announcement. So now I'm going to get back to painting. Okay. <laughs> What I'm doing is I'm making the rocks a little bit solid so I can sculpt them in a minute. And um, I'm thinking before I do any extra work on the waterfall, I'm going to put splashes in because to me, I'm not going to have this as looking like angel hair. It's going to look like something turbulent and there's splashes and water coming over in solid amounts over the falls. Does the badger have a name yet? <laughs> of course he does. He just hasn't divulged it. He hasn't it. told she, you or she. She hasn't divulged it either. So if there's anyone out there who feels they actually have uh, a communication system that will work, they could ask. I haven't seen them, which is a shame, but I've seen lots of evidence. The pile of earth they dig up is quite big. 
Um, yeah, looks very interesting. And last week my mother came around for lunch and we had a Thai takeaway with a lot of egg fried rice left over and I wondered if maybe egg fried rice, nuts and dried fruit would appeal to the badgers. <laughs> I don't know if it did, but it all went. Mm. It appealed to someone. Yes, it appealed to someone. Yes. <laughs> the food in the garden always appeals to someone. <laughs> we had a, a very nice neighbour who used to walk her dog around the, here all the time. And she took to feeding the foxes. I knew she fed the foxes, but I had never seen her do it. And one day she saw me and she said, I'm about to feed the foxes, do you want to watch? And I said, oh yeah, definitely. And I didn't realise she was feeding them on my driveway. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and it was extraordinary because she put the food down and the foxes and the cats took turns. And I thought, wow, oh. those greedy cats, I feed them all the time. What, your cats? My cats, yeah. <laughs> They, they, took they fought the foxes for the food. Yes, there was no squabbling. Mm. Just, you know, took a turn and ate a bit, and the foxes ate a bit. Oh. Yeah. I had seen something similar to that. Um, we had a friend, called Maggie, who had a house oh, near Hastings, and she told me she had a family of badgers turn up every evening to feed in her garden and she said I ought to let Freya see them and I thought yeah I asked Freya if she'd like to and she, Freya was told she'd have to sit still for a long time and be very quiet so she had French windows glass windows and we were inside Freya was sitting outside on this chair and she was there for a long time, about two hours, and I oh thought, she's going to be going nuts. She, so I signalled to her, you know, is it time to go home? Because she had school in the morning. She, she wouldn't move. She was convinced they were going to come and refused to move. So I let her sit there. And then, to my amazement, a couple of mature badgers came up, and they walked right by her, literally within brushing up against her legs wow. and went to eat and then in turn another dozen came a dozen badgers? They, they didn't come at once they came in ones and twos according to their own hierarchy sorry I'm going to move this closer to you it won't go on there no well, maybe I'm not then Microphones, they're the en endless challenge, aren't they? Yeah, what about if I put it? Is it not working? Yeah, huh? well, well, keep someone said that it was quiet, but maybe everyone else can let me know if it really is quiet. Okay, well, now, now I know it's quiet, I made myself at it. Okay. Yeah, anyway, she sat there watching the badgers come, and when the badgers had finished, there was still food left, and sitting. On the side, watching the badgers eat, were two foxes. And when the badgers went, the foxes came and had their turn. Ah, and that's they, the hierarchy. They all ignored her, you know. The, wow. the foxes knew the ritual. And she was sitting there, literally within touching distance of them. And they didn't seem to be phased. I was astounded. Her patience paid off. <laughs> yes, yes. They thought well, that can't possibly be a human child. She'd yeah. have left. Yeah. Yeah. She, I guess she would have been 10 at the time.
lyst lovord. <laughs> Hvad vil lyst lovord? Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm just looking to see if splashes work. And, and what I'm concluding is they will be able to work, yes. It was one of the um, exciting things about Niagara. You imagine the water pouring over, but it's much more um, energetic and chaotic than that. Is this zinc or titanium white? It's, it's a mix, actually, of um, neutral grey, um, probably number eight and a little bit of titanium white. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you ever paint water with blue? Or is it always, you know, like in real life, it's never actually blue, like a children's Never picture. actually blue. Well, I, I don't know. Is that is that might that might be a myth? And you know, it's a, it's a shade of grey or green or mix um, of yeah we, we, yes it does come in all kinds of colors um yes uh, the pathways the sea and pathways is a very vivid blue and in green parrot island it's a kind of turquoise there's a number of factors that affect the color of water Obviously, with a grey sky, it's going to be a struggle to get a blue sea. So it's, it's reflecting a blue sky that helps. But it also helps if the sea is relatively shallow and the sand is white underneath. And then you get that sort of vivid turquoise glow in the sea. Yeah, different conditions make for different effects and different colours. Different geography as well as different weather. Why did you choose to do Union and ABWH albums with the separation line from text on the album covers? Well, the Anderson Brew for Whitman had cover was, I think, the first time I ever did that. And the reason I did it is that the sheer volume of words was just so much. Well, Anderson Brew for Whitman had. But it seemed a lot of text, and to give it due weight and so on, I, I gave it quite a lot of real estate. But it did allow me to keep the proportion of the painting, which is something I, I don't plan ever to do. Sometimes it happens, but it says it's, so it's not really planned that way. It can work out that way, but it's...
Yes. I wouldn't have needed to do it so much with Union, but decided to anyway. How much input does Yes have on the album covers, or do they just say, do your thing? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they have an input, and sometimes... Um, yeah, I mean, I'm very happy to talk to the, the band about the cover. I always do. I enjoy the conversations. They're rarely about what I'm going to paint. They're more often about something more abstract, like what they're trying to achieve with the music. Um, I guess what they're trying to achieve with the music and um, the title are my usual guides. You've now had about 10 requests for a badger painting in <laughs> one. In one. <laughs> they you want to watch one. you. They want to watch you do a badger. All right. I need a very patient one. I'll sit there for a <laughs> week while I do it. Well, you can train the one in the garden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've got loads of time for badger training. Well, <laughs> we'll see. It might take a lot of bribes. Lots of egg fried rice. I don't know if that's the <laughs> preferred diet. I don't, I don't see myself gathering a huge bowl of earthworms then. <laughs> Mind you, if it would do it for that. Twenty-four hour badger cam. Yeah, I had a, a friend who had um, the University of um, Sussex do a badger watch on his farm, and that was interesting. What did it consist of? I don't really know, but one of the upshots of it. I was talking about the other day is interesting is when there was a long dry summer um, the badgers were feeling the pinch there was not enough food and they came into his farmhouse to eat eat the dog food and the dog was a retired sheepdog when it was a sheepdog, it was a working dog and it was not a pet, so it didn't come into the house. But when it retired, it became a pet and came in the house. But it seemed to be perfectly happy with a couple of these badgers actually coming in, to its, not only to its space, but eating its food. Wow. So what we've learned is that badgers have some sort of authority over cats, foxes and dogs. I think it was a kind of, uh, what can I say, the relationship with the dog was much more equal. <laughs> They're like the lions of the British woodland. You're getting very poetical. <laughs> Are you going to do another cover for Steve Hackett? I don't know. That would be a question of being asked. <laughs> well, Steve, if you're watching. Sorry? Well, Steve, if you're watching. <laughs> well, I've only worked with Steve. Um, I did work with him and Steve Howard, GTR, for a while. But most the two covers I've done for him in recent years are both compilations of 
and re-releases. Oh, phew, it's back. What? It's fine. Hold on. <laughs> Ignore me. So, what's happening with the questions, Christopher? Are we getting them? Um, or are you just oh my goodness. too slow? Your phone wants stuff to happen. It's okay. Right. What's happening oh, with the dear. Phone? It's trying to do that thing. It keeps asking for lots of things. I don't want you to do that, phone. Um... Okay, we can see you again. Did we lose the image for a while? Um, yeah, but we're back. Oh. It's very exasperating, isn't it? Yeah, it wanted to do that thing. Is it called? I won't say its name in case it comes back. That thing where you voice command popped up out, out of nowhere because actually I wasn't touching the phone. Right. Oh. <laughs> And then I lost everyone. All back to normal. Um. Are there any paintings or posters of Tales from topographic oceans and relayer covers next to each other forming one painting. <laughs> no, no. I do get asked a lot about do they, are they connected? And um, yes, but not literally. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Just needed the Roger voice of authority. <laughs> it popped up out of nowhere. Nobody asked for you. <laughs> Silly thing. Okay. We know how to talk to her next time. <laughs> Don't tempt <take> fate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, how did the new Flower Kings cover come about? Oh, it came about from shapes I was playing with in the class. Um, the precursor to the painting was um, one of the lessons we did. Lessons, uh, demonstration. And I thought, oh, I like that. That might work. <laughs> I'm not sure the students didn't do a lot of better paintings than me, but that was one idea, so I could use it. Can you tell us about the connection and involvement with Disc Union in Tokyo on the wonderful mini LP CDs paper sleeve collection? Um, yes, they're a very interesting company. They're a retail company. They're not a they're not a, um, a record company per se. So whenever they do something, they license the music from the record company. And they made a lot of very beautiful boxes over the years involving a number of my album covers, such as Octopus um, and the two big Yes Box sets, which I'm looking at from here. And th they make a very limited edition. And um, I did a lot of work for them on that. And they, um, well, <laughs> I was very happy with the working relationship. 
they asked me how much I wanted to be paid and I said Ooh, you can pay me in in boxes and they did so I got I can't remember how many 25 or 30 full boxes and the same number of empty ones they're very beautiful I I love how much care and attention Japan used to take over their packaging back in the day when in the West companies like Atlantic were just shaving all the costs and turning out essentially rubbish packaging so it was good good fun they also did some watches I did with them well I did them they used my designs and that was good fun too and I went round a number of their stores in Tokyo when I visited yeah nice people enjoyed working with them a while ago eh? is there any update on face masks um I thought it was going to be but there isn't <laughs> The company we were working with um, were a bit exasperating. They, um, they didn't put proper labels in and they came out at the wrong sizes. But we may be able to fix both those issues and release them at some early date. I'm not fully on top of that though. What do you think of the work of Abex painters like Richard Dybenkorn and Frank Klein? What are they called? What kind of painters? Abex, A B E X. Oh. Ab Abex painters. I think I'm not going to answer that when I'm doing a little bit of research. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Oh, sorry everyone, Siri's trying to thwart us. <laughs> we need to stop saying her name. <laughs> what is happening? No, okay, we can see. No. 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 It's fine, we can see, I think. Just this keeps happening. I don't know. Um, <laughs> can people see? Can you see people? even though we keep getting interrupted. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what a monstrous machine. <laughs> it's funny actually because um, oh, I've got that um, Alexa 